Yan, naka-record na tayo. Allow me to share my screen first. So, moment po. Yan. And Kurt, please verify kung meron na yung slide natin. Okay na ba? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, nandito ba ang mayor ng STEM 1? STEM 1 mayor, nandito ka ba? Yes, po, sir. Yes, po, sir. STEM 2. Hmm? Bait may lang si share screen. Sir, nawala po. Nawala. Wait lang. Bait may nag share screen kasi. Huwag kayong mag share screen, ha? Sino, sino yung nag share screen doon? Uy, huwag kang mag-share screen, Mario. Magtuturo ka ba? <laughs> Wait. Nawala. Sino yun sa... Kurt! Okay, Kurt, hanapin kita. Isabit mi ka. <laughs> Uy, ayaw na tuloy mag-share screen. Wait lang, wait lang po. Ayan. Okay na ba? Check nyo kung meron ng slides sa inyo. Meron na po, sir. Ayan. Okay, meron na. So, please get ready. And then, please bring out your calculator na lang if ever need natin. No? Hindi ko uh, kailangan natin siya for checking. And so welcome again to our pre-calculus uh, review session. So this is your first achievement test in STM001. Alright. So sana ready na kayo, no? So first here is the sequence. And this is the first lesson na na-discuss natin. From the word itself, sequence, no? Sequence, guys, it is all about the ordered list of numbers. Alright, this is ordered list of numbers right and it follows a certain pattern okay so meron po siyang pattern na tinatawa i will give you an example of a certain uh, specific uh example of sequence which is three five seven and nine as you can see po if you're going to observe three five seven and nine we have a common difference and the common difference here is two why? So, 5 minus 3 is 2. 5, 7 minus 5 is 2. And 9 minus 7 is 2. Okay? And 3 is the first. Sabi, sige, sabi na natin first and second. And 7 is third. And 9 is the fourth one. Okay? The 3, 5, 7, and 9 has a relative position and has a specific, meron siya specific na terms. So, ang tawag natin sa 3, that is the first term. 5 is the second term. 7 is the third term. And 9 is the fourth term. So, ano ibang, uh, ibang tawag sa term? Okay, so this is the terms. Ang ibang tawag sa terms is element. Okay. Aside from element, what is the last one? Every anyone from the class, you please recall. Yes. Aling isa. Yes. It's member. member. Target. It's member. So tatlo yon. It's member element and a terms. Okay. So if yung po yung tatlong tawag natin sa numbers of a sequence. I repeat. First term, second term, third term, fourth term. That is the member, element, and the terms. Uh, that is, uh, tawag natin yan sa mem numbers of the sequence. And now, we have 3, 5, 7, 9. We have that, 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 that. So, anong tawag natin sa tatlong dots, guys? Ellipsis po. Okay, that is the ellipsis. Anong meaning lang ellipsis? Infinite po. Okay, it's infinity. So, walang katapusan, infinity. And we have the so-called domain and what? 
Anong partner ng domain? Hello? What is the domain and what is the range? Come again? Range. Range. Okay, we have the domain. Yeah. And we have the range. When it comes to uh, general mathematics, we have the domain, which is x. And when it comes to range naman, that is our y value. Now, sa inyong tanong kanina, sa quiz, as exam ninyo, medyo nakakalito yun. Kasi sabi niya doon is y coordinate input, tapos independent. So, hindi siya napalita. So, yun yung isa sa napansin ko doon sa question na mali. Okay? Yun lang naman. So, what is domain, guys? What is the domain? That is the first term, second term, third term, or fourth term. So, ano yung tawag natin sa domain again? That is what? Ano ba yung first? Ano ba yung second? Ano yung third? Ano yung fourth? Hello? First, my second, my third, my fourth. So, what is the meaning of the main? Can you please open your mic? Yeah. Yung relative position po. Very good. It's the relative position of each term. So, this is the relative position. And thank you. How about the range? The range is the 3, 5, 7, and 9. So, itong 3, 5, 7, and 9 is what we call range. Or, in words, the answer is what? Actual terms. Very good. It's the actual. Yung mismong actual terms. Po. Ayan. Ayan po. So, we have the domain for the relative position. And the range is the actual terms. And again, 3, 5, 7, 9. Pwede siyang tawagin nga. Uh, Sa kabuuan niya, sequence siya. And isa-isain natin yung position. Ang tawag natin doon is member, element, and the terms. Alright? And the domain is the relative position. And the range is all about the actual terms. And aside from that, we have two types of sequence. And these are what? What are the two types of sequence? Sinabi finite niya kanina. Yes, it's the finite we have the finite and infinite. No? Yeah. And so, what is finite? Anyone? Yeah. So, open your mic. So, be lang sa What is finite? Second ending. My limit. Ending, so, my limit. No? There's a limit when it comes to finite. What else? My hangana. Second ending, ending, sir. Come again? Has an ending, sir. Yes. It has an ending or an end point. Okay? Hindi siya unlimited. <laughs> and can you give me an example of finite in terms of, uh, when it comes to math? Can you give me a number when it comes to finite? Can you give me five numbers lang? And natural numbers. Okay? Si Ralph sabi niya 1 to 10. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that, 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 plus... Ay, wala yung plus. Wala, wala pa tayo sa series. So, we have that, 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 then 10. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is what types of numbers? Hello? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is what types of numbers po? What? Anong klaseng number siya? Yung 1, nag-start sa 1. Answer? Real number po ba sir? Real number is the mother, mother of all numbers, so it could be. This is uh, real numbers, yes, to be specific. Ano yung inaral natin? Apat na types of numbers. Natural Start from numbers. One. Yeah, it's natural numbers. Aside from natural numbers, ano pa yung isa? Counting. It's Sir, count counting numbers po. Counting, counting, counting numbers. numbers. Alright, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to 10 is an example of finite. So, sabi niyo kanina, there's an ending. There, no, we add. Uh, mag stop po yung number or limited lang siya no that is finite and the total opposite of finite is what we call infinite okay can you give me the meaning of infinite so open your mic what is infinite countable walang katapusan walang katapusan there's no ending no stopping then limited siya okay, yes it's a never ending terms just like what can you give me an example Can you give me an example? Hindi numbers, ha? 1, 2, 
Hindi One, numbers. Two, three, hindi four, numbers. Five, no, hindi numbers. Set of whole numbers. Very good. It's a set of whole numbers. Pwede yan. It's a set of whole numbers. Why? Hindi mo alam kung kailan mag-stop ang whole numbers, tama? Ano pa? Aside from the set of whole numbers. Set of Fraction counting numbers. One. Set of what? Set counting of... Counting numbers. Yeah, it's counting numbers. Counting numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, blah, blah, blah. Hanggang hindi mo alam kung kailan matatapos. Now, bigyan nyo naman ng example ng 5 terms lang. And then, magiging infinite na siya. Yeah. Answer? Come again? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Eh, hindi clear yung boses mo. <laughs> so, sabihin na lang, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yan ba? Yan ba yung infinite? Paano siya magiging infinite? Anong ilalagay natin? Sir, may ellipsis. Very good. So, pag may ellipsis, automatic mo na infinite yan. So, that's it. As simple as that. Two types of sequence. Finite and infinite. Ganyan lang po ka simple. So, try natin. I-apply natin what we have. Variant of finite and infinite. So, identify what kind of set is this. It's a set of electrical appliances currently working in your house. Answer. It's finite. Finite. Very good. It's finite. Ano, wala Why is it finite? Eh, currently working in your house, mabibilang mo naman, no? Kahit mayaman ka pa, mabibilang mo yan. Next. It's a set of all currently enrolled students in Mother of Divine. Answer. Finite. It's finite. 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 One million pa yan na estudyante, mabibilang nila. There's an ending. That's why the answer here is finite. Next, this is a set of all numbers that can be divided by 5. Infinite. 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 It's infinite. Hindi mo alam matatapos. It's divided by 5. Divisible by 5. Something like that. Marami yun. Next, that's why infinite yung answer natin done. This is the set of counting numbers. Less than 20. Answer. Finite. Finite. Infinite. Finite. 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 Why is it finite? Finite. What? Less than 20 po kasi. So what are the numbers? 1 to 19. 1 to 19, 1 to 19, 1 to 19 po. Because the end point of this one is 19 and the starting point is 1. So there's an ending and there's a starting point. That's why the answer here is finite. Next, this is the set of fractions between 2 and 3. Infinite. When we see fractions, that's Infinite, sir. Infinite rational po. numbers. Come again? Infinite. 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 It, it's, it's infinite. Why? Kasi marami yan eh, di ba? Meron tayong fractions dyan eh. Ibig sabihin, marami pa yun. Kung If you are going to convert fractions into decimal, yun. Marami sila. Okay? There's an, and there's no ending. That's why the answer here is infinite. Medyo nakakalito siya. Hindi naman siya masyado nakakalito. 2 and 3. Parang fractions. Iisipin mo yung mga fractions. Marami yan. Now, let's move on to series. The series po, kung babalikan din yung sequence natin, we used a comma, 3, comma, 5, comma, 7, comma, 9. Dito naman, yung series naman, itatawagin natin siyang, uh, the meaning of series is the sum of the sequence. So, kanina, meron tayong sequence, di ba? Which is 3, 5, 7, and 9. Ngayon, kukulin daw natin yung sum. Okay, yung kanyang uh, summation. The sum of a sequence. Again, series is the sum of sequence. Yeah, that's the definition of series. For example, kanina, di ba, meron tayong 3, 5, 7, and 9. So, if we're going to get the sum of this, uh, of this sequence, the answer here is 3, 5, plus 7, 9. Para lang tayong grade 1. So, can you give me the sum of this sequence? Uh, Example, what is 3 plus 5, 7, 9? 24. It's 24. 24. It's 24. And that's it. And that's it. Series. Simple as that. Okay? Do you have any questions, Bo, regarding series? Hello? Answer. None. 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 Anong gagawin ng calculator ninyo kung marami yung numbers? Pwede kayong gumamit ng calculator, but dahil matalino tayo, ah, matalino ang mga matematician natin, sila ay naka-invento, na tinatawag natin na sigma notation. 
and what is sigma notation guys what is the purpose of sigma notation when it comes to series anyone it is come again it is a method what to represent the summation it could be what else to write out along sum into a concise way. Very good. It is a method used to write out thou along sum in a concise way. So, na-invento siya para hindi na siya masyadong mahabang isolve. Okay? So, what is the symbol of sigma notation? Symbol of sigma notation is parang inverted ba siya? Yeah, inverted M. That is the sim symbol of sigma notation. Or it could be a summation. So, Tatawagin natin sigma or summation po. Yan. May ibang tawag sa kanya. Okay. So, I will give you an example of sigma notation. Ganito siya. Ganito yung magiging tsura niya. Meron siyang tinatawag na n, which is the index or the lower limit. And the upper li limit po is yung, nangyari, may 4. So, ibig sabihin po, mag-start daw yung term mo sa 1. Kasi yung n is the index that is the starting point. From the lower limit to upper limit. So, ibig, sabihin, ibig sabihin po, from 1 to 4, we're going to substitute 1 to 4 to the given equation or base, which is 2n. For example, 2n yung ating base. So, 2n po yung uh, ating equation. Kung saan, yung 1 and 4, we're going to substitute that sa lahat po ng n. And, huwag yung kalimutan, we're talking about the summation, so they are separated by plus. Just like this. 2, 1, plus 2, 2 plus 2, 3 plus 2, and 4. Can you give me uh, the sum of this equation? What is the sum? 22. It's 20. As simple as that. Yan. Pwede nyo i-direct na lang sa calculator if ever. No. Pwede nyo i-direct niya kung mahaba na siya. Pwede nyo siyang i-direct. Kasi multiple choice naman yung ating exam. Then, basahin yung mabuti yung exam. Baka may 2 points doon, 3 points na kailangan ng solution. Depende yun sa tanong. Next, we have the domain and the range. So, we're done with the domain. We're done with the range. Again, domain is what we call the position of each term. And yung uh, nagsusimula siya mostly sa 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Yan. And the range is the actual terms. Again, domain is the position and range is the actual terms. And that's, uh, we're done with the definition, we're done with the terminologies, and let's move on to uh, solving na. Solve na tayo. So find the first five terms of the sequence whose general term is given by the a sub n is equal to n minus 3 raised to n. So hahanapin, hahanapin natin yung first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And again, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth is what we call the domain. And mano-mano muna tayo Then pakita ko sa inyo yung, uh, kung paano siya kunin sa calculator First, what is the first term? Uh, a sub 1 is equivalent to 1 <coughs> minus 3 raised to 1 And what is the first term? Negative 2 po It's negative <coughs> 2 So the first term here is negative 2 You can solve it mentally naman Or you can use calculator if hindi ka sure Kasi minsan nalito yung uh, sign ng ating mga numbers. But since this is a, uh, uh, mayroon siyang parenthesis, ma, mag, uh, pwedeng mag yung sagot natin. So, we have second term, just simply change n into 2. Yung a sub 2 natin, simply 2 minus 3 raised to 2. Then, a sub 2 natin is equivalent to what? 2 minus 3. Negative what? 1. The answer here is, what is a sub 2? 1 po. 1. one Why, po. may narinig akong 1? Ay, negative. Hello? By negative. Yeah, we're done with our operations of uh, integers. If we have negative 1 raised to 2, what is the answer? That is? 1. It's negative 1, Positive. not 1. But if we have negative 1, open and close parenthesis, or quantity of negative 1 raised to 2, that will be 1. That is the difference between the two. We have parenthesis and without. Gets po? 
And that's why A sub 2. What is the answer in A sub 2? Though one. It could be one. one. It, should be, it should be one. Now, let's move on to third term. The third term, syempre, A sub 3. And change natin yung N to 3. Minus 3 raised to 3. And what is zero. the answer? It could be zero. zero. The answer is zero. Then last, what is the fourth term? The fourth term is... 4 minus 3 raised to 4. What is the answer? 1. one. 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 Let's move on to the last one. What is the A raised to 5? So 5 minus 3 raised to 5. Can you give me the final answer in A raised 32. to 5? 32. 32. It's 32. 32. Why? Because 2 raised to 5 is equivalent to 32. 32. Yeah. Kahit sa calculator nyo, Parehas lang din yan, ha? Yan. <clears throat> Gamit lang kayo ng calculator ninyo kung gusto niyo nang mabilis ang mag-solve. Ngayon, solve natin yung pang fifth term. Parang pag hinanap, sir, is sixth term, o, diba? At yung malaki na, depende rin yan sa equation na ibibigay, kung maikli or mahaba. So, ngayon, hanapin natin yung fifth term using the equation given here. We have the parenthesis, then 5, then minus 3 raised to 5. Yeah, so pinalitan ko siya since we're looking for the fifth term, 5 minus 3 raised to 5, that will be 32. Okay? So, ganyan lang po siya gamitin sa calculator. Simpleng simple. Okay, next. So, write the first five terms of the sequence. So, what are the first five terms? So, since alam na natin kung ano siya kunin, try na natin siyang kunin using calculator. So, syempre, gamitin natin yung calculator niya napakamahal. Uh, di naman sayang. Okay, what, write the first five terms. So, una, kunin natin yung first term using this equation. So, gamit kayo ng fraction, then 1, then 1 raised to 2. Dito, kahit wag ka nang gumapit ng parenthesis, kasi positive naman, plus 1. So, lalabas agad yan yung ating first term. And the first term here is 1 half. Okay? Next, para mas mabilis, palitan mo lang lahat ng 1 yung mga 1 na pinalitan natin ng, and yung dating n na pinalitan ng 1 palitan natin ng 2 then sa numerator palitan natin ng 2 ulit yun yun lang yung gagawin ninyo 1 half 2 fifth then kunin natin ulit yung 3 nahanap nila yung 3 so, 3 tapos palitan natin yung nasa taas ng 3 yan so the next term is 3 all over 10 next kunin natin yung 4 4 is to 2. Then, yung numerator, palitan din natin ng 4. Kasi nasa 4th term na tayo. Then, 4 all over 70. So, as simple as that. Next, let's move on to the next one. Here po, sa a sub n is equal to n raised to 2 minus 1. Okay? Para mas mabilis ka mag-solve, i-calculator mo kung mayroon kang calculator. Kung gusto mo mano-mano, ganito siya, i-mano-mano. Here po, so n raised to 2, since we're looking for the 5 terms, first is 1 raised to 2 minus 1, and that will be 0. Why? Why 1 times 2, or I mean 1 squared is 1, then 1 minus 1 is 0. Then yung a sub 2 natin is, syempre 2 yung n natin raised to 2 minus 1, that will be 3. That will be a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, a sub 5. Okay, so simple lang kasi mag, uh, binomial lang yung binibigay na, na equation natin or polynomials. May tanong po ba sa ating uh, uh, current example? Hello? Do you have any questions po? Hello po? May tanong pa mga Wala na po sir. So can we move on to the next slide na po? Yes sir. Alright. Now next. We're going to uh, find the indicated term of the sequence whose nth term is given by the formula. Ito, madali lang itong mga ganitong bagay. Kung binigay na yung uh, position, yung nth term, which is 12, kung anong ginawa natin sa previous slide, parang ganun lang din. Pero mas, uh, mas madali ito kasi iisa lang yung hanapin natin. To be specific, yung pang 12 lang yung hanapin na dito. So, since ganito po yung uh, equation natin, so palitan natin ng... 12 yung n. 12 plus 12 plus 1 is equivalent to 12, 13. Now, we obtain 12 all over 13. It's as simple as that. Now, next. 
2 naman daw is gawin natin plus ito. So, n plus 1. Yung pang 8 at yung pang 10. So, this is 8. This is 8 all over 8 plus 1. So, yung pang 8 guys is 8 all over 9. Next, yung pang 10 naman using this equation, yung a sub 10 natin is 10 all over 10 plus 1 is equal equivalent to 10 all over 11. Napaka simple, pero huwag niyo sabihin magkakamali pa kayo dyan ha, pag sa exam na yun. Okay, next. Next, is the fi uh, fifth term. Sir, ang hirap nung ano, <coughs> kung feeling nyo nahirapan kayong mag-substitute or mag-mano-mano, ilabas nyo na yung mahiwag ang calculator nyo. Keep it natin. Saan na yun? Wala. Here. Try natin i-calculator ng mabilisan. So, fraction. Advance man o hindi advance yung calculator mo, pwede yan. So, n raised to 2. Since we're looking for the fifth turn, 5 raised to 2. Then, 5. Huwag ka nang gumamit ng parenthesis. Kung ganyang mga bagay, kasi positive naman, parehas yung sagot na bibigay. 5 minus 2. Then, the answer here is 25 all over 3. Yan yung sagot natin sa fifth turn. Okay, next, <clears throat> it's 25 all over 3. That is our fifth term. Ito magiging 25 na. Kasi, kasi 5 raised to 2 is 25. This is 5 minus 3. That's why 3. Uh, 5 minus 2 is 3. Uh, let's move on to the summation naman. Finding the sum of the series using the summation na. So, madali lang ito. Kung ano yung binigay na lower limit, that's the starting point. And kung ano yung binigay na upper limit, that is the ending point. Okay? So, ibig sabihin po, ito po ay in a finite when it comes to series. So, we have 2i minus i. So, mano mano natin. Since we are looking for the sum, we're going to write all the <coughs> sum of each term. The first term is 1. So, 2 times 1 minus 1. So, is 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. That is our first. Okay, next, the second naman is 2 times 2 minus 1. So, what is the answer here? It's 3. Next, it's 1, 3. We have, uh, we have, we're done with 2. So, the last term is 3. So, 2 times 3 minus 1. The answer okay. here is 2 times 3 is 6. Then, minus 1. 6 minus 1. The answer here is 5. So, kunin natin lahat ng mga answers natin. 1 plus 3 plus 5. Then the answer here is 9. Now, so what is the answer in the second example? Try natin gumamit ng calculator. Yan. Try natin. Gamitin natin yung mahiwagang calculator, calculator natin. 1 half. We have N. Guys, the starting point is, the starting term is 3. So, I'm gonna put 3 here. And that is 3 all over 2. Next is 5. 5 natin. I mean 4. Palitan lang natin to ng 4. So, 2 siya. Then, tandaan nyo yung mga number. Ha? 3 all over 2. That's 2. Then, delete natin ito. Magiging 5. Delete natin ito. Magiging 6. Yan. So, yan yung 5. It's 5 all over 2. Yeah. Lagay natin yung kanyang mga terms. The first term is 3. So, what is the first term? 3 all over 2. What is two. the second term? What is two. the second term? Second term. 2. It's 2. What is the third term? 5. It's 5. So, ka, 5 lang. 5 what? It's 5, five all over five. 2. Five. Yeah, it's 5 all over 2. And then, plus, the last is 3, 4, 5, three. 6. Yung pang 6? Six. 6. 6 lang? 3. Four. It's 3 na lang. Okay? 3. Then, add nyo lahat to. 3 halves plus 2 plus 5 halves plus 3. Answer? 9. It's 9. Yes po, it's 9 po yung answer dyan. Ha? Um, calculator mo lang kung hindi mo kayang isolve mentally. Yeah, so, try natin i-solve using calculator again. So, 3 all over 2 plus 2 plus 5 all over 2 then plus 3. And the answer is 9. So our answer is correct. Now, let's move on to the next example. Write a 
Yes, yung pinagkaiba niya dito, the sum of the series. We're going to evaluate the given equation. Meaning to say, magtatapos yung answer mo sa iisang number na. So, dito naman, expanded form. You're going to expand lang, but hindi mo siya i-evaluate. Hindi mo kukunin yung sum ng series. Ito, i-expand lang natin using this equation. x sub i, or x raised to i. Starting point is 1, the ending point is 5. Yes? Travis. Ay. X Wala po. Okay. X raised to i, ga? And the first is 1. Lagay mo lang yung 1, sir. Anong gagawin namin si x? Wala. Kasi ay yung uh, index natin eh. So, you're going to copy x lang po kasi wala namang sinabi doon na ang index natin is x. So, since yung exponent niya is i, yun yung ating papalitan. So, yung ating first i is 1. So, x raised to 1 or just simply remove 1 kasi uh, constant number or it is a linear. When it comes to linear, linear has imaginary 1 exponent. So, x raised to, raised to 1 plus since it is a summation, it is separated always by plus. The next is 2. So, x raised to 2 plus x raised to 3 hanggang ma-reach mo yung 5. So, x raised to 4 and then x raised to 5. So, yan yung pinagkaiba niya sa sum of the series. Yung sum of the series, you're going to get all the terms. After, afterwards, you're going to get the final answer or you're going to add all the terms. But here, in the expanded form, Kumbaga yung solution lang, pero hindi mo siya i-evaluate. Now, let's move on to the next example. The index here is 1, and the ending point is 5. Using this equation, we're going to substitute now the values of our terms from 1 to 5. So, x raised to 2n, then this is x again, because our index is n. So, yung n lang po yung papalitan natin. So, walang pakialam si x. So, this is 2 copy, then raised to 1 plus x again, copy, then copy 2, then this is 2, plus x 2 again, raised to 2, then this is 3, and plus x 2 raised to 4, plus x raised to 2 times 5. Yan, 5 yan ha. Then for the, for the final answer, this is x raised to 2, plus x raised to 4, plus x raised to 6, plus x raised to 8, plus x raised to 10. So, final answer. Questions po? Do you have any questions? Hello? Yes. None. Mag-open lang ng mic kapag may hindi kayo naiintindihan, ha? Uh, ready na ba kayo sa mathematical induction? Yes, hindi, sir. sir. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, madali yes. lang yan, sir. <laughs> madali lang. Siyempre, inurom na natin. Madali na lang sa'yo. Okay, solve natin ito for all the statement of 1 plus 2, 3 plus n is equal to n or n quantity n plus 1 all over 2 by mathematical induction. So, ilang beses na natin siya tinuro. Ulit-ulit na. Mag-solve natin. Ah, uh, mag-solve tayo ulit. So, what is the first term? Ito lang yung makikita ko sa solution ninyo ha. n is equal to 1. Shortcut na natin. n is equal to 1. That is our first term. Okay. So, lahat daw ng makikita mo sa ating right hand equation, we're going to change n into 1. Then, the final answer here is 1 is equal to n. So, yung may n tayo dito, so 1 yan. We're now solving the numerator part of our equation. Then, this is 1 plus 1. Close natin all over 2. And this is 1. Uh, PEMDAS tayo, 1 plus 1 is 2. Then, 2 times 1 is 2. So, this is 2 all over 2. Then, 1 is equal to 1, so which is 2. Gets po? Hello? Sir, may tanong ako. Yes. Ay, ano yung tanong mo? <laughs> may time na ba na nagbigay kayo ng false sir? Hindi pwede ah. Hindi pwede mo false ang step number 1. Ha? Huh? Ibig sabihin may mali doon sa equation kapag nangyari yun. Hindi siya pwedeng isolve. So, n is equal to... What is the second step? n is equivalent to what? K, 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 K. Yeah, it's rated K. Then, copy. Lagay ko dito, ha? 1 plus, copy the original equation, plus 3, plus dot, 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 plus n, 
Okay, rather, we're going to change the value of n into k according to step number 2. And let's move on again to the numerator or the fraction. So, n natin magiging k, then k plus 1 all over 2. Okay, we're done with step number 2. Next, let's move on to step number 3. In step number 3, number n is equal to 1. K plus 1. K plus 1. It's K plus 1. Thank you. It's K plus 1. Right? Shortcut na natin. And itong 1 plus 2 plus 3 is always equivalent to our right hand of a right hand equation which is k so we're going to write 1 plus 2 plus 3 to k tapos k plus 1 all over 2 next we're going to copy plus and then this is the time that we're going to change k into k plus 1 because this is k plus 1 is equivalent to so since we have another k here we're going to change it into k plus one then another k so we're going to write k plus one plus one because we have one here in our new numerator then don't forget to write the des uh the, the denominator which is two and we're going to simplify Simplify natin. What is k times k? K squared. K squared. K squared. K squared. K squared. Plus, plus k. k all over, k all over k 2, 2 plus k plus 1 plus all over 1. Imaginary 1. So, we're going to write 1 na dyan para alam natin na decimal siya. Next is k plus 1. Ay, decimal. Fraction, rather. Then this is k plus 1 plus 1 is k plus 2 all over 2. Nasundan po? Hello? Mister. Alright. So since natunsundan nyo yan at wala na tayong space, wait lang po. So tayo doon sa next slide. Wala ha. Copy ko lang ito. Para di na akong magsulat. Next slide. Here. Ay, bakit eh? Ayan. Tuloy natin dito. So, we have k squared plus k plus k plus 1. Again, as you can see in our denominator, they are different. And according to the rule, when it comes to fraction, it should be, the, denom the denominator should be what? Equal. Equal. Yeah, it's equal. And now, what is the LCD? 2. It's 2. two. Simple as that. It's 2. It's equivalent to 2. May ngal, may aso. Next. Next is divide and then multiply. Divide the denominator, multiply the numer numerator. What is 2 divide 2? It's 1. And then 1 times k squared plus k, copy. k squared plus k. What is 2 divide 1? Answer? 2. It's 2. So we're going to write 2. And then k plus 1. Nagets nyo po? Hello? Opo. Hindi ko pa siya dinirect na isosolve ha. Parang 2 divided 2 is 1. Then multiply k plus 1 to 2. Which is same lang po siya sa format na ito. Alright. Na sundan po. Pwede po pa ulit. Isang part. Yung pin sa... Yan po. Yan po. Okay. Thank you po. What is 2 divided 1? What is 2 divide 1? 2. 2. Then two. 2 times k plus 1. Sige, tuloy na natin. What is 2 times k plus 1? 2 k two plus... 2 k plus 1. 2 k plus... 1. 2, two ah. 2. Uh, two. K plus 1. Distribute. Distributive property of equality. This is 2 k plus 2. Gets. Hello. Yes, sir. Alright. Yes, sir, hindi na po kailangan lagyan ng parenthesis. Kayo bahala kung gusto nyo pahabain yung uh, solution. Nagigets nyo yung point ko? Opo. Okay. Yes, sir. Kayo bahala kung gusto nyo i-shortcut, i-solve nyo na agad, or pwede nyo gamitin yung ginawa ko kanina, which is ganyan. 
yung k plus 1. Yan. Yung kanina nga, yun, yung 2, tapos k plus 1. O, ganyan. Tapos k plus 1, tapos k plus 2. O, di, ang gagawin mo, ganun lang din. k squared, you're going to copy k squared plus k, then 2k plus 2k, tapos 2 times 1 is 2. This equivalent to, don't forget to write that, denominator, this is k plus 1, then k plus 2, all over 2. Gets po? Opo. Oh, do, parang, yes, yung, sir. parang pinahaba ko lang yung solution. Tama? Opo. Alright. Next, yes. anong susunod since hindi pa sila parehas? Simplify to, yung ano. Tama. Distribute yung po, sir. Yeah. No, we're not going to distribute this one. We're going to what? Simplify ko Simplify. yung like, Simplify. Like, Simplify. like terms. Because the K and 2K are like terms. We are allowed to add the two equation. So what is K plus 2K? 3K. 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 Ang sarap pakinggan, no? Parang pera. <laughs> 3K plus 2 all over 2 is equivalent to K plus 1. K plus 2. Oh. All over 2. Lagay ko na lang yung final answer. When it comes to factorization, ang dapat nyo lang tandaan is the last number. The last number or the constant number. What are the factors of 2 na kung saan yung kanyang factors are equivalent or sum ng 3 natin. Yes. 2 and 1. Yes. It's 2 and 1 lang naman talaga. And then, since mali yung numbers natin, The equation rather, 2 and 1 is, are the factors of k squared plus 3k plus 2. Why? Because 2 times 1 is 2, and then 2 plus 1 is 3. That's the shortcut. So, k plus 3. Since uh, we are using the k, so, doon sa factors niya, hindi dapat. Hindi x. Hindi pa laging x. So, we have k plus 3. Well, k plus 3, sir. It's k plus 2 and k plus 1 po ang ating ginamit. So, k plus 2, then k plus 1, all over 2, is equivalent to our right hand, just copy k plus 1, then k plus 2, nagitin tayo ng space, pero I hope naiintindihan nyo siya. So, this is step number 4, which is true. Gets po? Opo. May tanong. Sir, medyo. Sir. Yeah. Ano yun? Sir, paano malalaman sir kung tapos nang isolve sir? Paano natin malalaman kung tapos na isolve? Kailan ba ako nag-stop? Doon sa... Sir, pag nag-equal na sila. Yeah. So, kapag pareho na kayo nang nararamdaman, <laughs> kung pareho na sila ng equation, yeah, kapag parehas na sila ng both, uh, both side parehas na ng equation, that's the, that's the time na mag-stop ka na. Kung alam mo hindi ka na pinapahalagan, dapat alam mo kailan ka hihinto. Tama? Sir. Yeah. Sir, may tanong ako, sir. Ano yan? Kapag po ba iba yung solution, okay lang po. Basta ma-prove na true. Yes. Kasi we have different ways to solve the problems. As long as um, magtatapos tayo sa uh, same na sagot, okay lang yon. Sir. Yeah. Ano yun? Sir, yun din sa final answer. Sir, paano Paano nyo nakuha yung k plus 2 tsaka k plus 1 ulit? We're going to factor, uh, factor uh, we're going to conduct factorization method para mag-equal yung k plus 1, k plus 2. But when it comes to mathematics, dapat you know how to manipulate the numbers. Kunyari, sir, ayokong galawin yung nasa left. Gusto ko galawin yung nasa right. Which is the same lang po yan. Kunyari, yung k squared plus 3, k plus 2. Gusto mo, yan yung i-prove mo. Sige, pwede. Ang gagawin mo is k plus 1 times k plus 2. Foil, sir. Very good. That's it. You're going to distribute or you're going to conduct foil method in order for you to get the final answer of k squared plus 3k plus 2. Nasundan. Sir, tomorrow po ba ipapasa pa din po yung kasama po yung solution? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Kailangan because... Yung sa, there's a specific item na, na kung saan kailangan nyo ipakita yung solution ninyo. Especially this item po. The mathematical induction. This is equivalent 
Oh, sam- ah, nasa ano siya? Mataas yung points nito. So, kung ako sa inyo, i-master niya. Can, can we move on to the next example? Hello? Opo. Alright. Yes po, sir. Sabihin nyo lang. Opo, sir. Sabihin nyo lang kung babalikan natin. Yeah, marami pa, marami pa. So, 1 plus 3 hanggang sa makuha nyo yung technique natin. Okay. So, for me, this is the best na lang na ipapakita ko na solution sa inyo. Para makita nyo kasi, para makita nyo na na-prove na sila. Mag-equal yung left, mag-equal din yung, yung mag-equal yung Third left question. or right. Ano yun? Uh, meron bang ano, solution points? Mayroon naman. Ilan, sir? Mayroon yun, mayroon. Depende, depende yun. Depende yan sa okay. solution mo. Kunyari, yung solution mo, sa, 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 hu- sa huli ka lang nagkamali, ganyan. So, pwede kang maminusan ng 2. Pwede kang maminusan ng isa. Depende yan. Kunyari, ang, sagot, ang, ang final answer is 2x plus 1. Tapos, ang sagot mo is 2x minus 1. Pero, yung solution mo, tama, tama, nagkamali ka na yun. So, minus 1 lang. Kunyari, 5 points yan. Okay? So, your answer, your points now is 4 points. Something like that. Ma points may varies naman. Depende yan sa mapag-uusapan yun yung mga frequent features. Okay? Okay na? Yes, sir. Now, next. Step number one, madali lang. Ang ating right, kung ano yung nakikita nyo, kung ano man yung may variable, yan lang yung ating step number one. So, n is equal to one. So, number one. So, we have two, one, minus one is equivalent to one raised to two. So, ganyan palang dapat alam nyo na mag-substitute. Okay? What is 2 times 1? 2. Minus 1. 1. Then 1, one raised to 2. It's 1. So, tama na yan. May points ka na again. Next, let's move on to step number 2. Step number 2, napakasimple. N is equal to K. Ang gawin mo lang, copy 1 plus 3 plus 5. Is it plus dot 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 plus 2N minus 1 is equivalent to ay hindi pa tayo nagpalit sorry sorry we're going to change this one into k 2k minus 1 is equal to k raised to 2 nasundan ba? yes yes so let's move on to step number 3 para masolve natin yung problem again 1 plus 3 plus 5 is equivalent to what? k2 k squared k squared so, n is equivalent to k plus 1. So, bring down k squared here. Then, copy plus. Then, bring down 2k minus 1. But since our quantity uh, quantity 2k minus 1 has the variable of k, we're going to substitute k into k plus 1. We're going to change k to k plus 1 according to our step number 3. So, we're going to write 2 here. Ayan, gamit na lang ako ng ganyan. Tapos, ngayon natin dito, 2K, ay, 2K na naman. Trace natin. Ay! So, 2K plus, quantity of K plus 1 minus 1. It's equivalent to K plus 1 raised to 2. Nasundan po yung substitution method. Hello? Yes. Sir. Sir, dun po yeah, sa k plus 2, 1, minus 1, pwede pong magdiretsyo na hindi na po lagyan ng parenthesis. Diretsyo, hindi pwede. Hindi pwede. This distributive property po baka gawin dyan, sir. Yeah, we're going to distribute. Let's try natin yung sinasabi mo. Try natin. 2k plus 1, minus 1. Ganyan ba? Ah, hindi ka gagamit ng hindi calculator. Po, Ay, ng parenthesis. Ano ba? Ano ba ibig sabihin? Um... 2 tapos parenthesis k plus ah, 1 minus 1 po sir. 1 minus 1. Ganyan ba? So, try yes natin. sir. So anong sagot dyan? 2 k plus ano? 0. <laughs> Ganyan. Hello. Masundan mo? Thank you po sir. So bawal. Yes sir. Thank you po. Bawal. Na hindi, uh, nag-gets mo kung gaano kahalaga si parenthesis? Hello. Sir. Yes. Sir, pwede bang ipalit yung bracket as parenthesis, parenthesis sir? Bracket is parehas lang sa, sa parenthesis. Uy, Ay. <laughs> yun. Sir, nag-overthink lang ako. Huwag kang ma-overthink. Okay na. Okay na po. Yes, ano yan? 
Sir, doon po ba sa K, lagi po bang K plus 1 yung ipapalit doon? Always. Wala nang iba. Siya lang. Sapat na. Okay na. Wala nang tanong? Yes, sir. Okay. So, doon natin ito. K squared. Then, oh, nag-re-raise nang yan. So, 2K plus 2K plus 2 minus 1. Oh. Kaya dapat, kung may nakita kayong K at pinalitan nyo ng K plus 1, huwag na huwag nyo kalilimutan lagyan ng parenthesis kasi mag-iibang sagot. Just like this. Negative 1 raised to 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 raised to 2 is 1. Yan. So, balikan natin yung solution natin. Dito po is we're done with our left. Let's move on to the right equation. What is k plus 1 raised to 2? What is the expanded form of k plus 1 raised to 2? That is k plus what? Hey, so good. K plus 2, k plus 1. K plus 1, k plus 1. That is the expanded form of k, 1, k plus 1 raised to 2. Now, next. What is the ad? Can you please simplify our left hand equation? K squared plus two. K squared. K squared what? Tuloy nyo. Plus two plus two. Plus two plus two. One. Yes. One. Now, anong gusto nyo ng imanipulate natin? Yung left or right? Anong gusto nyo? Right, sir. Right. Right. So ibig sabihin yung right if we follow method natin. Yung ba ibig sabihin niyo? Yes, yung ba yung ibig sabihin niyo? Yes sir. Okay, shortcut na natin. What is k times k? K squared, tama? Tama. Yes sir. So what is one k? What is one k plus one k? Two k sir. It's two k. What is one times one? One. Oh, that is the fourth step. Which is true. So you have ten points. O pag ganon yung solution niyo sa ake, gets ba? Hello. Yes, yes. Sir, parang gusto mo imano pili yung nasa left. Oh, what is k squared plus two k plus one? What is the factors of k squared plus two k plus one? Answer. Is it k plus one k plus one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, subahala kayo. Pwede yung left, pwede yung right. Okay, wag lang kayo yung mga liwa. Ay, charot lang. Next, let's start. Let's answer. Chero may pinagkukulang ba kayo, sir? Ay, wala, wala naman, wala naman. 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus the quantity of 3n minus 2 is equivalent. Ang tanong, Ralph, miss ka na rin ba? Or may miss na siyang iba? Is equivalent to the quantity or the fraction n, the quantity of 3n minus 1 All over two. Sinagit mo, sinagup mo lang sa rili mo eh. Bis ko siya. Next, n is equal to n is equal to one. Pinatawanan ka mo. Next is three one minus two. Yan. Pwede kaming gumamit ng parentheses or it could be a bracket. Pare paras lang yan. Is equivalent to n one. Then three. This is one. Minus 1 all over 2. So, close natin ito. What is 3 times 1 minus 2? Answer? 1. It's 1. How about this? What is 1? Or 10 plus tayo. What is 3 times 1? 3. And what is 3 minus 1? 2. What is 2 times 1? 2. It's 2 all over 2. Meaning to say this is 1 is equivalent to 1. Gets? Yes, sir. Okay, next. Let's move on to step number 2. Which is n is equal to k. Then copy the 1 plus 4. 1 plus 4 plus 7. Plus dot 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 plus. Then copy the quantity 3. Quantity 3n. Yung n natin magiging 3k. Then minus 2. Next number, our right-hand equation. We're gonna we're going to change n into k. Then three k minus one all over two. Nasundan. 
Opo. Opo. <laughs> Ang isang tao na naririnig ko. Yes, yes. Yeah. Opo. Okay. Pwede tayong kumain while listening. No? Pwede tayong mag-dinner habang nakikinig. No? Basta... Merienda, sir. Oh, pwede, kahit ano, mag-merienda ka dyan. Kahit sa tawagin sir, mo si... Sir, habang exam, pwede kumain. Sir. Tawagin mo si mama mo, si papa mo. Pag-join, <laughs> pag-join mo. <laughs> And is equal to K plus one. And is equal to K plus 1. We're gonna move on to the third step. Again, what is the equivalent of 1 plus 4 plus 7? K. K times K minus 1 over 2. K minus 1 over 2. Okay, K. 3K. Quantity 3K minus 1 all over 2. Then we're, gonna, we're going to write plus here. Then... 3K minus 2, since may K tayo, this is the time that we're going to change K into K plus 1. So, the answer here is 3K plus 1. Parang yung kanina lang, no? Ganyan siya. Ganyan. Nasundan? Opo. Right. Ito medyo mahaba. K plus 1. K plus 1. Tapos, 3. Tapos, meron siyang K plus 1. K plus 1 tapos minus 1 yeah all over 2 yeah. next <laughs> this is the distribute na natin ito answer ikakasya ba to? 3K squared try natin ikasya 3K squared minus K all over 2 plus what is 3K plus 1 3K, 3K plus 3 <laughs> Tama. 3K is 3K tapos plus what? 3, 3. minus 3. 2 shortcut ko na yan ha I mean, ibuburahin ko to what is 3K plus 3 minus 2? answer? 3K one. plus 1 okay, 3K dito, plus 1 1 next, dito naman sa kabila magiging K plus 1 so what is 3K times 3 times 1? 3K okay. plus 1. 3K plus 3. Minus 1. Over 2. Sundan? Oh, yes, sir. Okay, papalitan ko na ulit. What is 3K uh, plus 3 minus 1? Answer? 2. 2. So, papalitan ko na yan, ha? 3K plus 2. Papalitan ko na yan. So, magiging 3K plus 2. Yan. So, medyo pangit yung sulat. Sir. Yan. Yes. Sir, yung 3K plus 1 minus 2, sir, pwede pong pauli. Sir, medyo nawala po. Okay, nawala. Ganyan talaga ang buhay. Minsan may nawawala. May bumabalik. So, sir, may pinagkukutan. Next, next. next, next, next. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, didelete ko to ha. Yan. Minsan, kailangan mo talaga irisin sa buhay mo yung mga tao. Ano. Yan. So, 3K. Sir, kaka-update mo lang ng relationship status mo, tapos ganyan ka. Ay! <laughs> oh, what is 3 times K? 3K plus 3K. 3K. Oh, yung nagtatanong dyan, makinig ka. Kung ayaw mo, ibibitin ka namin pati warik. Ay, sana. <laughs> 3K times 1. Uh, 3 times 1. 3K plus 3. Next. Bring down. Negative. 2. All over. 1. Eh, compute tayo ya. Ito pa nag-maabak ng space. Kailangan, kailangan mo na, kailangan nyo isang magbigay ka ng space, no? So, 3K plus 3 minus 2. Answer. 3K plus 1. 3K plus 1. Ah, may matutapot. At alasan mo lang. Sir, maglilive na ako. Sir. <laughs> Naintindihan mo na? Sir, naka-record ba ito, sir? Yes, ako, okay. sir. Naka-record. 3K plus 3 minus 2. Anong answer? 3K plus 1. 3K plus 1. Ganun po yung sagot. Naintindihan mo po kung sino ka maan yung nagtatanong. Hello? So, nawala. Okay, papalitan ko na. 3K plus 1. 3K plus 1. Okay, next. Dahil uh, kulang ang ating space, manipulate natin. No? Huwag lang yung relasyon. Huwag yung imamanipulate ang relasyon. Sir! <laughs> Next, dito, 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 dito. next, 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 yeah. 
Lagay ko dito. <laughs> Next. Now. Nasundan po ba yung last solution natin? Yes, sir. Okay. Continue na tayo. Continue, continue. So, what you... Uh, if you're going to observe equation, what is our denominator? 2. 2. 2. So, grado kayo 2. What is our denominator? Sir, 1. 2, 1, and 2. Sir, LCD. Since they are different denominator, we're going to conduct what? We're going to get the... LCD, sir. Yes, it's LCD. What is LCD? 2. It's 2. I'll write to here. But nasa numerator na. It should be denominator... Then, dito si 2 is equivalent to 2. Next! What is 2 divided by 2? 1. 1. Then, copy the numerator. 3k squared minus k plus. What is 2 times 1? 2. Then, copy 3k plus 1. Then, let's move on to the next. Just copy k plus 1. Then, 3K plus 2. Next, what is 3? Copy 3K minus K plus what is 2 times 3? What is 2 times 3K, brother? 5K plus 2. 6K, diba? Ang sarap pakinggan pag 6K. Okay, next. Next, what is 2 times 1? 2K. 2K. Okay, next. Copy 2K plus 1. Then, copy 3K 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 plus 1. Yes. Yes, sir. Copy. Yes, sir. Plus one, then three k plus two, all over two. Oh, kal na kal na labat. Tapay na talusan nyo. Next, three k squared minus k plus six k plus two. Ano na pansin niyo? Wait. Five terms. Are we allowed? Are we allowed to add negative k plus six k? Yes or no? Yes. Why? 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 Similar. Because it's an imaginary number one. We have the same exponent and we have the same what? The same what? Coefficient. Variable, sir. Variable. Yon, kaya dos puro dos yun. Kaya efficient kaya cha. Nagalak ko may hugot na naman. Ah, okay next. Mama yah, okay ng okay ng yata. So what is the answer if you have negative k plus six k? Three k squared by five. Plus five k. Five k. Five k plus plus two. Plus two over two. 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 Next. So ang ima manipulate natin is yung nasa right. Okay? So, ito yung right natin, ha? Kunyari, yan, yung, ito yung right-hand solution natin. What is k times 3k? Sir? 3k squared. 3k squared. What is, what is 1 times 3k? 3k. 3k. Plus k times 2? Okay. Okay. Yaman mo na. Ang daming K. What is 1 times 2? 2. 2. Pagating like terms. 3K squared plus what? 5K. 5K plus 2. Plus all over? 2. 2. Di ba? Ang saya kapag na-prove mo sa sarili mo na mahal ka rin niya. Pwede ka niya ngayon. Pwede ka niya. Dugala sir, dugala, dugala sir. Yes, di ko pa rin yun. Dugala sir, yung ano, Pascal. Oh, di ba ba? Goodbye. Dugala mo, di ba ba lang? Sir, yung my squared naman, sir. Sir, pwede ka yung exam, sir? Sir, yung naka-raise to naman yung N, sir. Naka-raise to yung N. Sir, ano yung tanong mo? Yung N squared, sir. Sir, paano po naging 5K po yung nasa left side ulit? Left side, left side. What is negative 1k? This is imaginary 1 for the leading coefficient of negative 1k. I mean the coefficient of k is imaginary 1. And this is 6k. That's why the answer is 5k. Gets. Okay, sir. Gets ko na po. Yun. Wala bang pasanggip dyan? Sir, meron kayo dyan. Sir, bukas. Pag after exam. Biro lang, biro lang. Okay na po dito. 
Sir, kanya ni turo niyo bukas. Wait, ako magtuturo. Exam niyo na. Sir. <laughs> Sir, pero ibang magkopin ako sa exam. Ano, ano? Ano yan? Sir, may tanong ako. Sabi ni Princess, ulitin daw natin lahat. Kalamaong, naulit ang minamin. <laughs> Sir. Ang kalamaong, oh. Sir, good night. Next na. Oh, mayroon pa Sir, dito. paano daw po yung sa right side? Right side? Opo. Sir, yan pong ganyan yung nasa exam, sir. Ito na yung factor ng right side, do. Oh. Yan. Yan. Hmm. K plus 1, 3, K plus 2. So, wag mo lang gawin. Sir, ilang items po yung mathematical induction? Ano ba sinabi ko na sa inyo? Ilang points to? Sir, ilan? Nasa 10 lang ito. Nasa 10. Sir, ilang po ganyan sa exam, sir? Lima. <laughs> Agi, sir? sir oh, pag lima, 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 15 points. Lima, 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 40 points lang yung achievement. Hindi ako patutok. Sir, pwede Manila paper sa ano, notes, sir? Manila paper. <laughs> Anto ka, ma-report ka? Pwede po bang gumamit ng yellow Wait lang, kapag general trinomials kasi, nakalimutan ko na yung shortcut dito eh. Yung 3k squared plus 5k plus 2, may shortcut dyan kung paano siya kunin. Kasi mas may, mahirapan tayong mag-conduct ng factorization method if we have a coefficient in front of the first term. Just like this, we have 3k squared plus 5k plus 2. Ang gagawin mo, mano-mano. Kalimutan ko yung shortcut niya. Kapag nahirapan kayong ganon, mag-factor, ang gawin mo, i-manipulate mo yung isa. Kaya nga, pwedeng mag-manipulate ng left, pwedeng mag-manipulate ng right. Kung saan ka mas masanay, or mas, kung makukuha mo rin lang yung tamang sagot, so yun ka. Manipulate mo yung isa. Kung hindi mo kaya i-manipulate yung right, doon ka sa left. Simple as that. May hugot na naman to, guys. Tama. Kung ayaw so, ko yung isa. So, open, open notes bukas. <laughs> Uy! Samat to, mat! Samat. <laughs> right side po ba yung right side palagi ang i ano sir, i manipulate sir. Depende nga sa inyo. Sir, pwede bang mag-open notes about diyan? Ano open notes? <laughs> sir, pwede po ano. Open notes fair formula lang. Bakit may formula ba to? Wala naman ah. Ayun lang sir. Wala, walang uh, formula diyan. Depende yan sa pagbibigay na tanong. So natin tong last Hello. Sir, sir, balik na doon sa past call, sir. Past screenshot saglit. Ano, ano? Mga tatalo sa iba pag gaw. <laughs> yung past call, sir. Ibalik na doon sa past screenshot. Wait, wait lang ha. Unahin muna natin to. Hindi pa naman tayo tapos. Solve ko pa ba ito? Hindi na. Sir, yung may ano, sir? Yung, yung, yung 2N squared, sir. Yung may squared po sila, sir. Pabigyan mo ako. Ano, sir? 2 squared. Sir, yung may yeah, squared. Yeah, kung may 2N mo, ha. Chris. Ayan na, sir. Ito na. Ay, one, one, ito na lang, sir. Bago na po. Ito one na. One squared plus two squared, sir. Yung may squared lang po, sir. Sigurado kung tama yung equation mo, ha? Hindi mo inimbento. Ito, sir. Ayan yung pinasulti sa amin, sir. Say, ulitin mo, ulitin mo. Wait lang po. One squared plus two squared. One squared. Two plus squared. Plus two squared. Plus four squared. 3 squared, sir. 3. Plus 3 squared. Plus. Plus. That, that, that. And that's square. Ganyan na. Yes, sir. Tapos, sir. Tapos, tapos n squared po, sir. n squared. Tapos. Equals. Equals. N. Parenthesis. N plus 1. Quantity. Tapos, n plus 1. I go. Yes, sir. Ganyan. Tapos, quantity. Ano, tapos, ano pa, sir? Quantity 2n, sir. Plus 1. 2n plus 1. Ganyan ba? Over 6, sir. All over 6. 6 po. Yes, sir. Yan po. Yan na. Yes, sir. Okay, try natin. So, ulitin lang natin. n squared is equal to n quantity of n plus 1 all over 2n plus 1 all over 6. So, kunin natin yung n is equal to 1. So, kayo muna ang magsusolve yan. Sabihin nyo sa akin kung equal sila. 1 squared is equal to So, dito na tayo. This is 1. 1 plus 1. Then, 2. 1 plus 1. All over 6. So, what is 1 squared is equivalent to? What is 1 plus 
2 times 1 2 What is 2 times 1 2 2 plus 1 2 kila 2 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 3 3 So, ibig sabihin 3 yung dito 3 yan 3 times 2 6 Ito, figure mo 6 Sir, 6 daw Six all over six. Then what is one squared all over? I is equivalent to six all over six. Is it one is equal to one? Nah. No. It's two. Next point. Hindi ko naintindihan. Ha? Hindi naintindihan. Ulit na natin na naman. Pero ang gulo. Wait, magulo. Cya ang gulo. Pero may ganon po ba sa exam? Like ganon ano po? Opo. Kaya nagsusulba ako. Paluhin kita ng dos por dos dyan eh. So, one squared is equivalent to... Kanina pa ako nagdi-discuss ng ganito. Sabi mo ano, may ganito sa exam. Ikaw talaga. One squared is equivalent to... One. Diba N? Una, N natin is one. Pangalawa na N. O, di syempre gagamit ka ng parenthesis. One plus... One. Next. Ito. Two. One. Plus. One. All over. Six. All over. Six. Naintindihan mo? Hello. Pura yata pa yung makapangantila. Yes, sir. Yes. Next. Ito tayo. What is one plus one? Two. Ma plus ni one. Makal na tayo, ay makal na. Daan, daan, daan. Tama, plus ko doon. What is 1 plus 1? 2. What is 2 times 1? 2. What is 2 times 1? 2 plus 1. What is 2 plus 1? 3. Ingatan ka, 2 times 3. Six. Nata ni sulat tayo yah ay one squared. One squared is equivalent to since nala tayo six at tagay six at numerator. The denominator is six. Nata ni what what is one squared? One. Mabili siya. What is what is one squared? Answer. One. 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 Six divided six. One. Ay, naku. Masisikin ako kila. Dapat ang tayo laratan. Di ba? Yung mga ganyang simpleng tanong nga. Dapat. Sorry, check. Sorry, check. Kapag binilisan natin ng konti, dapat bilisan mo din yung yung ano mo. Pag-adapt mo ng ano. Okay? So, L is equal to K. Number two na tayo. This is Step number one, step number two. Okay, ano nga idahan-dahan pa natin? Two plus three plus four. What is two plus three? Five. What is five plus four? Nine. Nine. Talo sa nyo lang, ah? May medyo mapos na daisit. Kalok-kalok mo yung sakit di mo na yun. Nasibok ka na ba? N is equal to K. Next, palitan daw natin lahat ng N, ng K. Copy one squared. Plus 2, kira ulit mo, 3, wala kita, magsak kayo, score yung mo. Plus, grade yung mo, talagang kong grade. K squared, is equivalent to K, then K plus 1, plus 2K plus 1, all over 6. Sige, bagay yun, nama plus ni. Nang salat-salat ka, maglapat ni tanay. You're going to substitute all the value of N into K. Simple as that. Tapos na tayo sa step number 2. Okay na po? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, let's move on to number 3. Binigyan nyo ako ng may rap na problem, ha? Sige, solve natin to. Then, number 3, what is N? K plus? Plus 1. 1. What is 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared? K times K plus 1 times 2 K plus 1 over 6. Yun. So, labi natin. K. Tapos K plus 1. Tapos 2 K plus 
all over 6. Next. Anong gagawin? Copy. Copy. Plus K plus 1. Squared. Plus, plus K, K plus 1. Plus squared. one squared. Okay. Plus K equivalent 2. K oh, plus yan, one. Yan, okay. Okay. Plus one. Okay. Plus one. Okay. Plus one. 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 Then two K. Ito hindi pwede ha. Two K plus one plus one. All over six. All over one. Hello po. Sundan yan? Yes po. Double check nyo ha. Tingnan nyo kung tama yung pinag-substitute ko. K plus 1 is 2. K plus 1. Okay, tama naman. Wait lang ha. Punta tayo sa kabila. Kasi masyado nang uh, makapit laman. Jai, jai, jai. Sana hindi na po. Copy. Punta tayo dito sa next slide. Okay, ito ba yung pinduto eh. Nasaan na yun? Oh, wait lang, wait lang. <laughs> ah, yun, yun, yun. Yan. Lagyan natin dito. Tapagpan muna natin yung logo ng yupang. <laughs> Hindi naman tayo makakasuhan dyan. Next! So, simplify na natin yung mga numbers dito. So, what is k times k? Sagot kayo, ah? K squared. Plus k times 1. K. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Hindi tayo pwedeng magano dito. Divide Sir, di ba may observe ko ay ano? Yan. Kasi ano to eh. Um, pag ang ginawa natin dito, ganito, pwede naman. Pwede tayong mag-substitute agad. Pero ano yung magiging ano natin dito? Sir, kapag uh, nag-substitute ka agad, sir, magiging long method na siya kapag nag-substitute tayo. Naiintindihan po? Gusto nyo ba yung long method? Oh, ilong method? Ayaw po. Ay, ilong method Hindi po. Natin. Short Ayaw method, sir. Po. Yung short na lang tayo, no? Yung short method na lang. Oo oh, po. Yan. So, short method na lang tayo dito. Yung long method kasi, you're going to multiply lahat. Ay, mumultiply mo lahat-lahat. Tama? So, as you can see po, meron tayong k plus 1. Then, meron tayong k plus 1 dito. So, copy muna natin to. 6 divided by 6. So, k tapos k plus 1. Tapos 2k plus 1. Tapos plus 2k plus 1. Square. Bakit? Sir, ay. Ay, I mean 6 pala yan. Hindi yan 2. Wait lang. Wait lang. Ipapaintindi natin kung bakit naging yan. Okay. What is 6 divided by 6? 1. One. one. What is one times? One. Is it? Uh, six. Six. Yan. Kinapi ko lang. Gets. Yes. Gets nyo? Yes. Tugan natin ng dilaw. Yan yun o. Paras lang siya dito, di ba? What is six divide six? Oh. One. One. What is one times this one? Yung lahat ng equation na to? Paras na po? Yes, sir. Okay. Para hindi masyad maraming ano. Next, next, next. Ito naman. What is 6 divide 1? 6. 6. What is 6 times k plus 1 squared? Is it 6 times quantity of k plus 1 squared? Hello? No. Paras na po? Ano, ano sir? Di ba ito yun? <laughs> Nandito na sila. Ulitin natin. Yes. Ulitin natin. What is 6 divide 1? 6. 6. six. six. Uy, apigur mo tayo 6 mo. What is 6 times k plus 1 squared? 6. Is it 6 times k plus 1 squared? Hello? 6 quantity of k plus 1 squared. Naintindihan? Yes. Ay, hindi nyo nag... Uy, parehas lang yung kanina yan. Sir, yes sir. Okay, shortcut kasi to. But mostly, kung ano yung ginawa natin dito, ba? ang ginagawa ko, dinidistribute ko siya. So, pwede. Kasi short, uh, hindi, naman pare, uh, hindi naman komplikado yung equation. 
Itong binigay nyo sa akin is komplikado. Kaya, i-shortcut natin kasi meron tayong tinatawag na common commonalities. Which is the K plus 1 mamaya makikita ninyo. Next, here we have K plus 1 and we have K plus 2. Uy, tignan nyo to. Natsundan nyo kung bakit K plus 2. Yes, sir. Di ba, K plus 1 plus 1 is K plus 2? Yes, sir. Okay, tingnan ko lang yung mga nag-message dito. Kasi huwag mo na sanang ganyan sa exam. Wala namang ganyan. Ang hirap-hirap naman yan. Kulang na yung oras ninyo. Sir, next na lang, sir. Inatanong nyo ako, itapusin natin. Wala namang pala, sir. Next na yan, sir. Next na si Rin, sir. Next na, sir. Sir, Sir, ang naiintindang ko po is if you're happy and you know and you know it, just clap your hands. Clap your hands. Sir, clap the board. May nakain ng mic ka. Kagabi, may kumakain ng mic. May mic to latian. Okay, what is K plus 2? I why is it K plus 2? Because we're going to adding uh, add like K plus 1 plus 1. The constant is which is K plus 2 or 2. Now next, what is 2K plus 1? I 2 times K plus 1 is 2K 2K plus 3. Gets po? Hello? May hilo na naman kayo no? Why is it 2K plus 3? So, sige, isa-isay natin. K plus 1 plus 1. What is 2 times K? 2K. 2K. 2 times 1. Plus 2. Plus 1. O, di 2K plus 3. 2K 3. Okay naman. O, naiintindihan? Sir, pwede palitan nyo na yung example. Ay, kasalanan nyo na. Saan nyo nagbigay? Sir, ituloy nyo lang, sir. Sir, paskas na. Sir, ituloy nyo lang, sir. Sir, ituloy nyo lang, sir. Sir, Sir, pastikal na. Sali lang. Sigaw, let's go, let's go, let's go. Sali nyo lang, sir. Tapusin na natin. Nandito na tayo, eh. Okay, next. Nasa step 3 na si sir, eh. Next, next, next. Sunod natin yung... So, yung commonalities dito is K plus 1. Yan. K plus 1. Tapos K. Tapos 2K plus 1. Plus six k plus one all over six. Oh, ni mana lu lara? Nasundan yo. Sir, tulung nata yo. Di sir. Nasundan ya? Sir, walau aku naik nindi. Di sir. Sir, tulung nata yo. Di sir. Walau aku naik nindi. Di sir. Tulung nata yo. 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 Di sir. Tulung Di ba nandito na yung K plus 1 no? Nandito na. Commonality. Kaya wag nyo yung shortcut. Di ba? Ito yung K... Hindi natin yung shortcut. Sigurado kayo? Sir, ba't po lumipat yung isang K? Sinactor ko nga. Alam nyo ba ang factoring? Ay, sir. Gets na, sir. Gets, gets. Di ba? Ang may K plus 1. Ay, yaman. Ang may K plus 1 niya sa K di man ay, yung K plus 1 na isa, nandito na rin. Kaya, nawala yung squared niya. Gets? Gets, Get, sir. Uh, ganun yun. Sir, from the top. <laughs> from the top? Ano from the top? Ang dugo-dugo. Sabi nga kasi, from the top, sir. From the top. Ang dugo-dugo, from the top. Sir, Pascal na, sir. Pascal na, sir. Tingnan nyo, ah. Sir, tuloy lang, sir. Tuloy lang, sir. Tuloy lang, sir. Tingnan nyo, mabuti to. Yung K plus 1, kinuha ko dito. Tapos yung K plus 1 na isa dito. Kaya nilabas natin. Ngayon, yung K plus, since na, uh, uh, ang gawin natin dito is i-distribute natin itong K plus 1. Tignan nyo, i-distribute ko to. I-distribute mo itong K plus 1 sa K tapos 2K plus 1. Ang magiging sagot, di ba? K 
palitan ko to ng kulay. Di ba magiging k tapos k plus 1 lang din tapos 2k plus 1 plus 6k plus 1 squared. Parehas lang din. Gets? Sundan nyo? Opo. Di ba kapag yes, nag-distribute mo to dito tapos dito, anong sagot? Di ba ito? Gets? Gets. Uh. Opo. Pwede na yun? Uh. Naintindan nyo yung shortcut niya? Yes, sir. Ito rin nyo na, sir. Uh, sige. <laughs> uh, Gano'n, hindi. <laughs> Pero kinu ni Ray. Simple talaga yun. Hindi yun kasama. Yan lang yun. Gets na. Sir. So, so, sulat natin yung ano. Yung K plus 1. K plus 1 plus k plus 2 dito sa kabila so k plus 1 copy mo ulit k plus 1 tapos k plus 2 2k plus 3 yan <laughs> next is k plus 1 so, close natin tapos open ulit so 2k times k answer 2k answer 2k squared. 2k squared plus k. Plus k times 1. K. Sundan? Yes, sir. Next, what is 6k? K? What is 6 times 6K k? 6k plus 6. 6k plus 1. Plus, 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 I plus 6. Plus 6. Close natin. Next. Yun, dukudukoy. K plus 1. K plus 2. 2k plus 3. Over six, all over six, all over six. Next, what is two k? Try natin kung kakasya dito. Try tayo ng blue na nako. So copy k plus one, k plus one. Next, what is two k? K six k and six. Answer. Two k squared seven k plus six. Seven k. Yaman. Six. All over. Four. Six. Six. Equivalent to K plus 1. So, huwag mo nang i-minute link si K plus 1. Andaan. Yung K plus 1 na yan at K plus 1, since parehas na sila, huwag mo na silang gagalawin. So, ano yung i-minute link natin? Yung naka-yellow na bilog. Na maraming bilog. Gets? Hello? Yes, sir. O, ngayon. Since nandito na yung K plus 1, ang gawin natin, didistribute natin yung K sa 2k, yung k sa 3, 2 to 2k, then 3. Anong sagot? Is it 2k squared? Plus Opo. 7k yes, plus, plus 6 all over 6. Di ba ang saya kapag yes, alam mong mahal ka? Pag na-prove. Let's go. Yun na nga si sir. Yeah. Okay, yung magkalala. Okay, kayo magkalala nandito siya. Makakaugi kami la, sir. <laughs> Oy, nandito yung ano, yung girlfriend ko, nagikinig siya. Hay nako. Batiin niyo naman. Ay, so. Hi, ma. Hi, ma. Kadi na po gratis. Oy, nandito siya totoo. Hello po. Sir, Good open evening. Everyone. Open cam sir. Happy, Happy birthday, ma. Happy birthday. Ma'am, ma sir, kiss na kayo. Ano? Ano? Sir, kiss kayo. <laughs> good evening po, ma'am. Sir, open come. Hi, good evening. Sorry po for joining your private uh, review session. Just wanna watch how he teaches you guys. So, yeah. Oh, English. Nakakahiya naman. Open come, open come po. Good evening po. Happy anniversary. Oh, mathematical index yung lasa. Kala ko discuss lang. Ay, sorry. Nagkikinig siya siyempre. Supportive girl. Okay, like. <laughs> okay, so we move on to the next na. Kakaba. Kakaba, no? Kasalanan nung nag-ask. Hindi pa pala lang. Supporting kami. Sino ba yan? Sino ba yan? Hindi, <laughs> at least, ano, at least, nasagot ko yung tanong niya. Nasagot ko yung tanong mo. Saan ka labing ganyang kahabang ano sa... Wala naman. Wala naman. Wala naman. Wala naman. <laughs> Ah, doon na tayo sa Pascal. Bilisan natin, syempre. Kausapin ko pa yung girlfriend ko mamaya. Bebe type pa daw. Okay, dito na tayo sa Pascal triangle. Binomial coefficients. 
So, sinulat ko na yung mga coefficients dito since alam naman natin yung pattern, di ba? Kapag meron tayong n or yung n natin is what we call the exponent. Yan, exponent po yan. Yan, exponent po ang tawad dyan. If you have an exponent of 1, so that will be 1 and 1. If you have, if you have exponent of 2, that is 1, 2, and 1. What is the shortcut here? What is the pattern? That is 1 plus 1. That's why we have 2 here. Then 1 plus 2. That's why we have 3. 2 plus 1 and 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 6 is 10. 6 plus 4 is 10. And so on and so forth. <laughs> diba tinulo ko lang sa inyo yan? Okay na tayo dyan? Sir, magbigay, sir, magbigay kayo less than 5 po, sir. Less than? Less than? Exam. Less than 5? Yes, sir. Ang pinakamataas lang alam ko, nasa 7 or 8 na. 7 or 8. No. Okay na. Sir, sir, so, ngayon dito, Trindy sige. Pag-ibin yun. Expand the equation using Pascal's triangle. Can you give me a binomial? Can you give me a equation? Yes. Kayo na ba alam? 2x plus 1 dito? squared. Ilan? Sige, sabi mo. 2x plus 1 raised to 6. 2x plus 1 raised to 6. All right. So what is the first term? What is the first term? 2 sir, 2x. Anong 2? 2x ah. What is the second term? 1. <laughs> 1, right. So what is the pattern when it comes to first term? Is it ascending or dis ascending or descending order? Descending. Descending po sir. Descending. How about the second term? Ascending. Ascending. Now, can you give me the coefficients of of 2x plus 1 raised to 6. Since we have the n is equal to 6, what are the coefficients? Using possible triangle. 1, 6, 6, 15, 15, 15, 15, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 15, 20, 15, 15, 6, 1. 1. Sir, saan ko makuha yung 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, and 1? And that will be the Pascal triangle na po. Gets po. Hello. Opo. Oh, 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 oh. na kami. <laughs> 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, and 1. Now, let's start. Now, what is the first? 1. We're going, we're going to put 1 here. Then, we have the first term. We have 2x raised to. Sabi nyo kanina, descending order. So, we're going to start. 6. The first term in 2. 6. 6. And then y, at the second term is 1 raised to 0. What is the Zero. second coefficient? 6. 6. Six. Then 2x raised to 1. Raised to 5. 5. five. Then five. 1 raised to 1. one. 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 Next, another plus. Fifteen. Next coefficient is 15. 15. 15 2x Four. raised to 4. Raised to four. 4 then times two. 1 raised to 1 2 2 parang useless yung 1 ah. <laughs> next next is 20 hey. coefficient 20 then next is 2x raised to 3 hey. next is 1 raised to 3 oops stop tayo tingnan nyo yung pattern we have 6 tingnan nyo mabuti yung pattern na we have 6 5 yun yung sinasabi natin descending order and when it comes to second term, that will be ascending order, 0, 1, 2, and 3. That's the pattern. That naman may pattern. Yan, yeah, nahugot, nahugot. Sir, hugot na. <laughs> diba? Alam mo, mararamdaman mo yun kung gusto ko rin ng taong mahal mo. Ah, diba na, diba na, diba na. Mom, oh! Yun na, yun na, nanalo na, nanalo na. Diyan na. <laughs> okay, next. Okay, next, 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 next. We're done with 20. Next is 15. Plus... 15, dapat marunong kang makiramdam. No? So, 15 tapos 2x. Baling review session natin na sa liyan. 15, lian. 2x. <laughs> uh, anong, anong exponent? <laughs> Ay, sorry, 2, sorry. 2, review. 2. Oh, yes, mo, review. 2, 4, 2, 1. Lang, pasmado lang. This is 1 raised to 2, 4. What four. is the next coefficient? We have 6. 6, six tapos 1. 2x, 1, 5. 1, raised to Five. 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 Five is the last coefficient. One. One. Then two x raised to two x zero. Zero. One. One is six. Six. Yeah. six. Now yeah. let's move on to 
the final countdown. What is one raised to zero? That is cancel. <laughs> then what is six uh, raised to two? What is the what is six raised to two? Can you please uh, two, two. utilize your calculator now? Forty eight. Hmm. Sixty-four. 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 Sixty-four.
Iyan na. Really? Na, matulad na lang ko yun. Sana ako sa... Hindi, okay lang. Busog pa naman kami. So, negative 3x you? plus 5y is to 8. So, ang gagawin nyo dyan, observe the exponent first before you solve the problem. Then, go back to your Pascal triangle. Siyempre, wala yan sa exam. You're going to make your own Pascal triangle. Then, so, pwede open notes? Na open notes, bubugin kita. Sir, pwede naman na sana yung ano, exam na open notes. yung sariling... Pa- Pascal triangle. Yeah, gagawa ka na ng Pascal triangle mo. Mismo sa actual exam na, hindi pwedeng gumawa ka tapos i-open sir, na, mo. Sir, na sir, mag- check niyo pa 'yun, sir. Gusto mong ano? Uh, Makulong. <laughs> uh, sir, gawin yung 2 hours yung exam. Wow, 2 hours ka diyan. It's 1 hour lang. 1 hour lang yung exam and then wag kayong mag-alala since your <clears throat> uh, nag-attend ka sa review natin. Hindi ka na may um, isa puso um, mo lang yuk. sa buhay. And don't forget na, okay, mamaya yan para sa last lap. So, solve na natin to, okay? Hello? Pwede na ba tayo mag-solve? Hello, Pwede na ba tayo mag-solve? Opo. So, 1, copy, negative 3, x, negative 3x, what? Raise to 8. Raise to 8. Raise to 8, then 5, y, Raise to, raise to zero. 8, negative 3x raised to 7. Ipisan ko ng konti dahil madali lang mong siyang sundan. 5y raised to 1. What is the next coefficient? 28. Next is 3, negative 3x raised to 1. Raised to 6. Tapos 5. 5y raised to 2. 5y raised to 2. 5y raised to 2. 2. 2. Then, plus, what is the next number? It's 50, 56. 56. Then, negative 3x raised to, what is 3, negative 3x raised to? 5. 5. Then, 5. 5y raised to 3. Raised to 3. Plus, next number is 70. 70, negative 3x raised to what? Is it 6. 4? 4, four, four, ah? 6. 4. 4 na. Then, 5y raised to 4. Raised to 4. What is the next coefficient? It's 56. 56 multiplied by 3x. Next number is 5y. Raise to... A negative 3x has 3. Raise to 3. Raise to 5. 5y raise to 5. Next number, we have 28. 28 negative 3x multiplied by negative 3x raise to 2. Raise to 2. 5y raise to 6. 5y... Pangit sir, may 5 mo. 5y raised to what? 6. 6. Next, 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 next is 8. 8, negative 3x raised to 1. Then 5y raised to 7. 7. Okay, last number. 1, negative 3x. 1, negative 3x raised raise to, to 0. 0. Then 5y raised to, raise to 8. 8. 8. Okay, what is the first term, guys? This is the first term. Uh, first term, since we have the even number here, so expect that our answer here should be positive. What and what is negative three raised to eight? Calculator po. Para mabilis tayo. Answer. Six thousand five hundred sixty-one. Six thousand five hundred sixty-one. Six five six one. Tama ba? Tama ba yung dinig ko? 6, 5, 6, yes, po, sir. Okay. Yes, po. Next, the next operation we have here is should be negative y because the exponent is 7. Now, can you give me the second term? Go. So, eight seven four eighty sir. Okay. What is the answer? Answer po. What is negative 3 raised to 7? Ano oh, sino ba? Hello? So 8, 8 7, 7, 480. 8, 7, 480. 480 po. 480. 480. Tapos, x, what? x raised to 7. Tignan nyo ha. Ano yung y natin nga eh? Y lang. Sir, Y lang, sir. One. Okay, next. Opo. Anong one? <laughs> Wag na. Next. 
uh, since positive yung uh, uh, even number yung ating exponent na susunod, so magiging positive. So, plus na yan. Okay, go. Answer. This is 28. Uh, what is negative 3 raised to 6? Tapos, 5 raised to 2. Then, times 28. So, yun yung gagawin ninyo. Sir, 5, 5, 1, 0, 3, 0, 0. 5, 5 1, 1, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0. 0. Tama? X, 6, sir. Tama? Yes, yes sir. 6, then Y, 2, gets 4. Y, 2, Next, okay. Asian frame, okay. minus na yung susunod dyan. So, ano yung susunod po? Solve nyo na agad. So, we're done with this. Ay, saan na ba tayo? Ay, hindi yan, hindi yan. Sorry, sorry. Mali yung nabinagawin ko. So, tapos na po tayo sa first term. We're done with second term also. Then, third term, we're done. Then, how about the fourth term? Which is minus na po yung susunod. Answer. This is 5, ha? Sir, negative. Sir, negative 1,7,0,1,0,0,0. Ulitin mo. 1,7,0,1,000. Yan? Yes, sir. X raised to 5. Y raised to 3. Okay, next na. Go, go, go na. Go na. 70 yan ha. 70. Pangit lang yung sulat ko. Sir, may tanong ako, sir. Ano yung tanong mo? Tanong mo na lahat. Ba't din yung in-include yung coefficient ng Y, sir? Coefficient ng? Y, sir, sa bawat term. Eh, kasi isang term lang yan eh. Ang 70 Pag times negative 3X is to 4, then 5Y is iisang term yan. Na gets mo? Sir, Hello? Ano yan? 354 354 37 3750 Ito lang, may tanong eh. May tanong siya eh. Nasa I go, sir. Ito? Hello? Hi, sir. Okay ka na ba? Medyo, sir. Saan ka nalig dito? Uh, sa exponent po. Kuhari po yung pangatlong term doon sa may bilog niyo, sir. Yung 5y squared, sir. 5y squared. Ito ba? Yan ba? Opo, opo yan, sir. Saan ka nalilito Quarian, dyan? Anong, anong, anong part ka nalilito? Yung 5 niya, sir, hindi na po ba i-square or ganyan na lang, sir? I-square nga. 5 raised to 2. 25, di ba? Tapos i-multiply yun dun sa x, sir. 5, 25 times 28 times times negative 3. Okay, sir. Okay na po, sir. Yan. Yan yung i-multiply nyo. Gets po? Hello? Kaya pag multiply mo yan, dapat ang sagot natin is 5. Wait lang. Sagutin lang kita. <coughs> yan. 28 times negative 3. So, kahit wag mo na ilagay yung negative kasi nga positive na yan. So, okay, wag mo lang ilagay. Magne-negative ka na lang doon sa <coughs> sa final answer mo. So, 28, 3 raised to 6. Tapos, multiply natin yung 5 raised to 2. It's 5,000 or 510, 300. Gets mo? Gets ah, mo gets na, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Next, next na tayo. Next is, nandito na tayo sa 56 answer. So, yun na ba? Sir, 70 pa lang po. Ano? Ay, oh, sorry. Ano yan? Sige, sorry. Isa-isa lang, 3. 5. 5. 4. 4. 3. 7. 7. 7. 5. Ingo pula, ako lang talo sa... 5, 0, sir. Wait lang. 3. 5. 4. 3. 7. 5, 0. 7. 5, 0. Yan ba? Yes, sir. Okay, X. Y. Y, 4. Now, next. 56. Negative 3 raised to 3. Then, 5 raised to 5. And the next is negative because the, neg uh, the even number po, ay, add number po yung exponent na may negative number. That's why minus po yung susunod dyan. So, what is the answer? <clears throat> Sir, answer 47. Uy, isa-isa lang. 47, 2, 5, 47, 2, 5. 1,000, sir. 1,000. Ayan. Tama ba? Tama? 
Yes, sir. Y raised to 5. Okay, next na, next na. So, to, to. Sir, 3937500 po. 3975500. Check mo nga kung tama. 393 po. Ah, 3 ito. 500. 393. 500. 7, 500 po. Ah, same thing din. Laki pala. 7, 500. 7, Tapos, x raised to 2. Y raised to 6. Get po. Hello. Yes, Sundan. Oh, dito na. Next na. <coughs> Siya. Answer. That's a good. Sir, one one eight seven five thousand. One eight seven five thousand. Kanyan? Tama ba? Yes, sir. Ilagay okay. ko na lang yung Negat. x dito. X then y raised yes, to sir. seven. So ano yung pang last? Cancel na to. So, what is 5 raised to 8? Dito ko ilalagay yung last, ah. Dito na lang yung last. Sir, ano po? 3926. 390,625 po. 39? 390625. 0625. Ganyan. Or sobra ng 0? Sobra po na is. Sobra po, sir. 625. 625. What is the variable? Is it x? Cancel si x. So y raised to? Y raised to 8. Y raised to 8. Okay. Final answer. Okay. Nag-gets you po? Yes po, sir. So, ganyan lang siya kasimple ha. So dapat may calculator talaga kayo. Kunyari yung una. Check ko lang ha. Yung una natin dyan is negative 3. Oh. Or 3 raised to 8. Ang 3 raised to 8 natin dyan is 6561. So, tama kayo. Next, check natin yung 8. 8 times 3 raised to 7 times 5. The answer is 87480. Yes, ano yung tanong mo? So, yung dun po sa 472, yung sagot po, kulang po ng 0. Okay, okay, okay. So, kulang ng 0 ito. Sabi ka, Johnny ka. kasalanan yan, kasalanan yan. <laughs> Kaya huwag nagsasolve. Ayan. Nakitaan ko na. Kaya alam niya, pinukorek ko na yung mga sagot ko. Sinabi niya na, no? Kaya tingnan natin. So, tama yung second term natin dyan. Third term natin is 28. Ganito na lang gawin ninyo, ha? 28. Huwag niya na ilagay yung negative. Okay lang yan. As long as hindi ka malilito doon sa pattern niya. So, 3 raised to 6 yun. Tapos, times 5. 5 raised to 2 na pala. Sorry. Ito na yan. It's 5. It's 5103300. Yes, ano yun? Sir, saan po magbe-base dun sa pattern? Dun po sa X or dun po sa Y? Yung exponent po. What do you mean by pattern? Yung pattern ng yung operation? Sa, ne- sa negative, positive po. Sa operation ba? Yung negative yes, sir. Po? Depende yan. Ha? Depende yan. Kung nand- ang negative sign mo nasa... nasa Why? <clears throat> okay lang yan. Basta ang tignan mo palagi is yung exponent na may negative sign. Ingat mo. Kung ang negative nilagay nyo sa sa may second term, kunyari 3x minus 5y, o di mag-rely ka ngayon sa y. Since ang ginawa nyo dito is negative 3 yung first term, o di mag-rely ka sa x. Depende kung nasaan si negative gets. Yes sir, thank you po. Okay, we're done with the third term now. We're moving on to the fourth term. Sabi nyo, ang sagot sa fourth term is 171,000. 56 times 3. Times 3 raised to 5 yan. Tapos, mumultiply natin siya sa 5 raised to 3. So, ang sagot nyo is 171,000. Correct? Oh, ang galing na. Next, punta tayo sa 12345. So, 12345, 70. times negative. Oh, huwag na ilagay yung negative. Tapos, 3 raised to 4. So, change to 4. 3 raised to 4 times 5 raised to 
Try natin. Is 3, 5, 4, 3, 7, 50. Very good. Okay, next. Ito tayo sa 4, 7, 2. Kina natin sa 56. 56 times negative 3. So, 3 lang ilagay natin dito. Exponent na 3. Then, multiply natin si 5 raised to 5. Lagay natin 5 raised to 5. 4, 7, 2, 5,000. Okay, so na-correct na yan. So, tama. Next is 28 times negative 3 or 3 na lang raised to 2 times 5 raised to 6. It's 3, 9, 3, 7, 5. 3, 9, 3, 7, 500, which is correct also. Our second, second to the last term is correct. A third to the last term is correct. Next is, okay, second to the last na to, hindi naman ha. So, 28, may 8 pa pala. May 8 pa. Try natin yung 8. Yung 8 naman, 8 times 3 raised to 1, this 1, then 5 raised to 7. Ang sagot natin is 1875,000. So, tama din yung sagot ninyo. And for the last term, 5 raised to 8. 5, 5 raised to 8. This is 8. Then the answer is 390,625. And that's it. That's, uh, that's all for tonight. <laughs> Do you have any questions, Bo? Sir, Check by number theorem, sorry. Yes. Sir. Pascal Triangle lang, huwag niyang gamitin pa yung theorem. <clears throat> Sir, pakita niyo nga yung exam. <laughs> Gusto mo mabugbog. <laughs> Sir, pwede mo ba pray over yung mga calculator namin? Pray over? Ano-ano? Sir, yung calculator po namin, i-pray over mo po. Why <laughs> can't ba i-pray over? Kayo na wala lang magdasal. Sir. Hindi naman kaila, uh, Sorry, magdasal kayo. Sir, ipapabless ko po yung, ka yung calculator ko. Prayer is 1% and then 99% yung action. Ha? Palagi nasa sa inyo. Sir. Yun. Yes. Saan daw po magsasagot, sir? May bibigay po bang papel? Hindi, doon na mismo sa, sa exam ninyo mag... Bawal kayo mag... Hindi kayo papayagan maglabas ng scrap paper. So, doon kayo... Sir, paano sir pag ginagawa? Sir, paano kayo magsasurb, sir? Eh? Sa likod ng this paper niya. Ay, sir, ganun yun. Sir, paano po kung nagkulang? Hindi yun magkukulang. Ay, may hugot to, guys. May hugot to, guys. Wala. <laughs> Hindi yun magkukulang. <laughs> Sapat naman. <laughs> Pero naiintindihan niyo yung lesson. Opo. Mm -mm. Yes, sir. Master nyo na. Yes, sir. Oh, paano ba yan? Uh, minsan, kailangan natin magpaalam. Sir, good night na. Sir, good night. Gan lang ako ba yung sinasabi. Sir, baby time na kayo, sir. Sir, mga dila. Mga dila, mga dila. Mga dinner tayo, sabay-sabay dila. Okay, and huwag niyong kakalimutan, ha? Na dapat, uh, hindi lang yung uh, puso. Ay, hindi lang yung utak. Ayagi. Makinig kayo. Yun, no? Puso pa 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 Okay, so Tama, I love you, sir. Yes, sir. I love you. Yes, sir. 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 Masyado nang malaki yun. Kulang na yung oras nyo kasi six, 60 minutes lang so one hour lang yun. Madami kayong isasolve. Sir, mm. friend nyo po ba si Santo Tomas de Aquino? <laughs> <laughs> ano <yun? laughs> si Aristotle lang kaibigan ko. <laughs> si Johnny Johnny is papas. Sir, pwede pong mag-erasure pag may maling na sagot? It's math. It's, ano, oh, ano ba? Pwede naman. Math naman yan eh. Pwede kayong mag-erasure. Pero pag di na ka talaga kasi, sir, eh. Oo, oh, hindi ko na yung kasalanan. Ginawa ko na yung part ko, gawin nyo na yung part ninyo, ha? Tama. Sir, ask ko lang po kung ano yung naunang topic before dun sa sum of, series, sum of the series. Kasi nalita. Nalit ka nang? Kung, ah, ang first, first, kung anong pong first topic nyo kanina. First like, topic? yung sum of the series po ba? Yeah, it's the first, uh, the first... Last one that we discuss is the sequence oh. and the series. If ever gusto mong balikan, 
I'm going to send the hindi, recorded lesson na lang. Naka-record naman tayo. Ha? Sure, baka hindi naka-record. Hindi naka-record na to sana. <laughs> Sabi lang yun. <laughs> Sorry la. Buti nga na ano eh, na-record ng kaklase ninyo. Yung core, sir, sir, pat. Sir, pwede po mag-pencil po, mag-susunod. Wala naman. Sige, sige. Thank you, sir. Thank you po. That's all. Well, I hope okay. mm, natulungan ko kayo and then yung mga questions ninyo yung nasagot ko ngayong gabi. And good luck your exam. Galingan ninyo and then syempre abangan ko yung scores ninyo. And that's all. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye, sir. Thank you so much. 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 Bye, sir. 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 Bye-bye. 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 Open cam muna, sir. Open cam. Bye-bye. Sir, bye, sir. Bye, sir. Open cam, sir. Yung kita pa. Wait lang, wait lang. Open cam. Sir, open cam. Pampa, sir. Di bukas. Yoro. Nakita nyo na open cam? Nasaan, sir? Nakita nyo na open cam? Ay, yagi, sir. Di ba? 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 Di Bye-bye. <laughs> Hello sir, baka follow. Baka follow. Hmm. Ba- ba- Bantay nyo na yung video lesson.